gets it up top to Bryson. Bryson back down to Wilkins now. Wilkins sends it down low. Cross ice, he scores! It was, it was very cool. I mean, I was up there just talking with everyone up there. I wasn't really expecting it and then heard my name and it was just, uh, I mean, I can't describe it. It's it very cool. I'm really excited to be a part of the Devils organization. Hey everybody, welcome back to an episode of Just Say Guay. I'm your host, George Guay. I'm joined by Providence College men's ice hockey forward, Tyce Thompson. Tyce, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so obviously a lot of people here at Providence know who you are. Uh, my audience back home probably does not. So could you just introduce yourself, team you're on, position, where you're from, stuff like that? Yeah, uh, like you said, my name's Tyce Thompson. I'm a forward here at Providence College, um, and I'm a sophomore. Okay, so... As a sophomore coming into this year, last year you guys go to the Frozen Four, really great, exciting year. What did you want to bring into this year after having a strong year for uh, a freshman? Yeah, I think uh, last year um, being able to play in a moment like that, um, gain some experience in games like that, those big games, um, kind of know how to play in those games and just take that into this year, bring that confidence and uh, experience back uh, for a lot of the new guys um, that weren't able to be, be there last year. Yeah, so speaking of confidence, you must have had a lot after this moment. Uh, you scored the go-ahead uh, winning goal against Minnesota State in the regional semifinal. Um, what was that moment like for you? Yeah, I mean, that was pretty cool. Uh, it's just the whole place was packed with uh, Friar fans, uh, which made it pretty special. And um, just to be able to share that moment with all my teammates was, was pretty special. Okay, so uh, this summer you were drafted by the New Jersey Devils. Congratulations. Thank you. Take me through the draft process. What's it like? Obviously, it was in Vancouver. You know, you obviously fly out there. Um, and what did it feel like to get picked by the team that also had the number one pick with Jack Hughes? Yeah, no, uh, it was definitely pretty special. Uh, it happened uh, my third year eligible, so that made it pretty cool. Um, I was there in Vancouver, uh, and I had a lot of fa friends and family down there uh, just from being from Canada, uh, which was nice. And then uh, just being able to go to the same team as Jack Hughes is it's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, he's a great player. Having the chance to meet him and uh, being on the same ice as him at development camp was pretty cool. And then again, uh, Patrick Moynihan being picked up by them as well, um, who is also with the Friars, uh, made it that more special. Yeah, you probably got to pick up on some tendencies. So uh, your brother Tage just had some NHL experience. Mm -hmm. uh, How has he helped you uh, going into camps, uh, also through the draft process, things like that? Yeah, um, he, he's been great for me. Uh, I'm just looking up to him. Oh. He's two years older than me, which is, he's going through the process uh, just a couple years ahead of me. Um, so it's nice just to see how he's handled everything and um, the same uh, road that he's taken. I've, I've kind of followed it a little bit um, in a slightly different path though. Um, but just, he's been there just t giving me advice along the way um, and, and being able to work out and skate with him has been great. Yeah, so you mentioned obviously it was um, special to share the ice with Jack Hughes and a future Fire teammate. So. Uh, what's it like coming in to a camp as a new draft pick? Yeah, I mean, I went to previous camps as well, um, and going into this camp, uh, being in one of their um, one of their uh, picks uh, makes it a little bit more special or or meaningful. I would say um, just knowing that that they want you and uh, that you have something to prove, kind of um, type of type of idea. Um, so it's nice uh, going in there and. And just trying to show what show what you can do and uh, have some fun there and, and meet all the new guys there and hopefully your, your future teammates as well. Yeah, and it must have helped that you had a future teammate for a collegiate career. So uh, obviously right now you're second nation points. Congratulations. Um, you're behind your teammate Jack Dugan. What is the key to having such a great start and how do you keep that going, especially you two? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the team has done a great job so far the, through the first 10 games. Um, I think we just need to continue to keep it simple and, and play together as a team and and when the t team succeeds, I think, uh, so does everyone else. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of changes this year, a lot of new people coming in, uh, a lot of people that are not there, guys like Scott Conway, Casper, mm -hmm. uh, Josh Wilkins, Brent Duham. Uh, there's only one guy still here who was top five on the team in points, which is Jack Dugan. A lot of guys are stepping up, including yourself, uh, Max Crozier, Callahan, uh, Parker Ford. How do you guys do that so fast? I think, uh, I mean, the list can go on and on with guys stepping up this year. Um, obviously those guys were great players last year um, and were very important to the team. I think uh, with them uh, leaving this year um, opened up a lot of opportunity for a lot of new guys to come in and, and returners as well to step up and I think everyone's taken advantage of the opportunity and, uh, and just ran with it. 
Yeah, so obviously this year uh, got to a good start. Uh, you're still in the rank top uh, 10 rankings as of, as of right now. Had some tough ties, tough one goal losses. Is it helpful to know that, you know, most of those games were definitely winnable games? Yeah, I mean, we've been in every game that, that we've played so far this year. Um, even the games that we've lost or tied, uh, I mean, those are, those are hard to swallow because we're right there, and those are games that we probably should have won, to be honest. Um, so, I mean, we're in a good spot um, f through the first 10 games, and we just got to keep it going. I mean, you're not going to win every game, um, but knowing that you're right there in every game is, is something that is good to look at. Yeah, so for the next 10 games, what's the key to getting back on track? Obviously, the first game against Maine, that's something that's not going to happen all the time, but the great wins against like Clarkson and St. Lawrence, what's the key to getting back to that yeah. style of hockey? We, we play together as a team and uh, support each other and, and just keep it simple um, throughout every zone. I mean, we're a pretty hard team to play against, and, and uh, we can be effective. Yeah, so this is, I always throw in a curveball question that the guest doesn't know. Uh, I always see potential recruits coming around campus. If Coach Lehman put it up to you, uh, convince this person to come to our school, play hockey, uh, what would you tell them? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great great place to come and play uh, and go to school as well. So, um, I mean, you're going to enjoy being here. The fans are great. Um, playing for uh, the coaching staff is a, is a great um, opportunity to get better. Um, and it's just a really good spot to be. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Tice, for coming on. Thank uh, you. We'll see you next episode. Thanks, guys.